Here are some terms that you will need to know. Sex is the biological status as either male or female based on reproductive organs, hormone prevalence, and chromosomes. There are also people who are intersex. They may have both male and female reproductive organs, over or under production of sex hormones, abnormalities with sex chromosomes, or other conditions. Gender is a social construct in which certain characteristics, roles, and activities are associated with each sex. People whose gender matches their sex are cisgendered, and people whose gender is different from their sex are transgendered. Some transgender people receive hormone treatment and or gender reassignment surgery so their gender matches more closely with their sex, and some don't. It depends on what the individual wants and what kind of resources they have available. Though some people don't like these binary terms and prefer to use other terms to describe the fluidity of their gender. In fact, Facebook has 58 different gender options. And then there is sexual orientation, which is about who people love. This is independent from their sex or gender. People may be heterosexual, or they love people of opposite sex. Homosexual, they love people of the same sex. Or bisexual, they love people of both sexes. Like gender, sexual orientation isn't a binary concept. It is a spectrum. People may use different terms to describe where they are on the spectrum. For example, pansexual people love people of all sexes and gender identities, and asexual people don't experience sexual arousal even though they still feel love and may have a desire for companionship. Let's talk a little bit about brain development. All humans, irrespective of whether they have an XX or XY or any other combination of sex chromosomes, begin development at the same starting point. During early development, the gonads of the fetus are undifferentiated. In simpler terms, we are all female. Then after six to seven weeks of gestation, the expression of a gene on the Y chromosome causes a change in development to occur. So it is here that the XY chromosomes cause testosterone to be produced and released into the fetus body. All female fetuses that have the XX chromosomes do not have the production of testosterone that washes over their body and brain. During this six to 12 week period, the formation of male or female sexual organs occur. It is important to note that sexual differentiation of the brain occurs in the second half of pregnancy, so the two development processes are independent and separated in time. This means that the masculinization of genitalia may not necessarily reflect that of the brain. For example, if the fetus that starts out female, the XX chromosomes, may have ordered no testosterone, but it may still be introduced as a result of an errant adrenal gland, and this may cause the body to remain female, but the brain is then wired as male. This can explain why some transgender individuals know from early as three years old that they are members of the opposite sex. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Also, check out some of our other videos. If you want to know what people think about mental health, click on the left. If you want to watch us debunk mental health myths, click on the right. And make sure you come back next week to check out the next part of the sex and gender series.